The drug epidemic is an ever-growing problem in Minnesota, only made worse by the pandemic. According to the Minnesota Department of Health, there were 373 drug overdose deaths in the state during the first half of 2019. In the first half of 2020, there were 490 deaths. That's a 31% increase. MDH will release data for the second half of the year next week. And while drug overdose deaths are on the rise, recovery is possible. KBJR 6's Kendall Jarbo shares how one one Duluth woman is saving lives one paper bag at a time. Sue Purchase is in the business of caring for people. She's led harm reduction projects for 25 years. For her, the work is personal. I was born and raised in northern Minnesota and I grew up in a really difficult environment and um, started using drugs at a young age, for sure, by 12. After going back to school as a single mom, her life took a turn. That, that I'm not a statistic and that I take my life experience in, and I sometimes joke about parling it into a really good job. That really good job, director of Harm Reduction Sisters. So I provide services to people, mobile syringe services, mobile Narcan overdose education services, quite literally meeting people where they're at. Operating out of her home in Duluth, Purchase packs paper bags with resources and delivers life-saving products to those in need. She hopes that education will help fill what she sees as a gap in care. The, the prevalence of drug use up here is just off the charts in, in ways that I just staggering to this day. You know, I've been doing this program for almost two years now, the 1st of May, and uh, I am just like stunned by how much drug use there is up here. Her mobile service, recently featured in the Minnesota Department of Health's new podcast series, aimed at addressing the evolving opioid epidemic. So we figured that with this podcast, we would try to take a slightly different approach and talk to real people about real stories and how opioids and overdose have impacted them. And then we try to couple each segment with folks who are doing the work, the boots on the ground work in different communities. <laughs> Through the podcast, Purchase shares how she helps an underserved community with compassion. And so absolutely, people taking care of people. Describing her service as building a bridge to people in isolation. You know, I'm non-judgmental, uh, support people where they're at. And, um, you know, I'm a stranger. I'm not somebody that's going to judge them for what they're saying. Be able to help lend some support to navigate it, to make it through to the next day. One person taking care of many by delivering hope and saving lives. Purchase says she helps 10 to 15 people every day and hundreds every week. If you'd like to learn more about Harm Reduction Sisters or listen to the podcast featuring Purchase, you can head to our website, kbjr6.com.